So you can hear the noise there coming in. I think it's this U joint. So you have to take off this cover here. It's like a little 10 clip. You can literally just get it by hand. It goes on. Just there. And then you have to kind of pull the carpet back and your own comes off here. There you go. Easy. So to start with, we're going to remove this Phillips here. And there's another one somewhere. Uh, just there, Phillips. And then there's a little clip here, and you pull this down. Just see the clip there, you can just see it, just push it in and pull it down. That just comes out, out of the way. Chuck that over there. And then we're gonna go get in here and we're gonna mark this shaft so we can replace it in the same order. This this bolt has to come out. The shaft just goes up onto another union up here. And we're gonna do this exact same mark it and we're gonna try fit the new shaft in. This is the new Toyota shaft. So it's pretty simple. It does expand the in and out, so it should be easy to fit. This is the part number for our air car. I double checked that with any we are local parts supplier. So if you can actually you might be able to see it up there if I operate it. You can just make out the play and it would it's rattling its head off so let's see if this fixes it this is the new shaft fitted you can just see where I marked it just to make life easy I might have to track the car afterwards but I think we might be okay and same up there you can just see the green marker I used so basically to get the old shaft out, un undo the two bolts as I said it previously and just wiggle it off on the top first, wiggle it down and then you'll be able to just pull it off on the bottom here. So wiggle it off on the top and then the sha collapse the shaft into itself and then wiggle it, you'll just be able to pull it off the bottom, it's not, not a big deal. So our noise is gone. The click click noise is gone. And when I test drove the vehicle, the racket that was coming over previously on a bumpy road has gone as well. So happy days. So just to note when you're refitting this part, there's a tab there. You can just see it. And that goes up into this hole here, right in the middle. So when you're just fitting it back in, goes in like that and then clips it. There you go, just refit your two screws.